I'm delighted to be able to present the uh, Robert L. Fish uh, Memorial Award tonight. Robert L. Fish uh, was a mystery writer who wrote both novels and short stories. His novel, The Fugitive, received the Edgar Award for Best First Novel in 1962. His short story, Moonlight Gardener, received the Edgar for Best Short Story in 1972. He also received two other Edgar Short Story nominations. His short story parodies involving uh, Schlock Holmes uh, were among my very favorites of everything that he wrote. Um, and Bob died in 1981. However, his uh, legacy lives on thanks to a very generous donation uh, made through his estate that allowed us to establish the Robert L. Fish Memorial Award. This award is presented to a writer who has, uh, in the opinion of our judges, written the best first mystery short story by an American writer. Uh, and I, as uh, Brad mentioned, I am proud to say that I won this award back in 2002, and that's the reason that I'm up here tonight. This year, I am pleased to introduce the winner of the Robert L. Fish Memorial Award, Jeff Soloway. <laughs> Jeff has won this award for his short story, The Wentworth Letter, which appeared in Criminal Elements, Malfeasance Occasional from St. Martin's Press. It's a wonderful tale of a college student and her professor lover uh, that is filled with sly humor, with references to Jane Austen, and has a marvelous twist ending. It is my pleasure to present this Fish Award and plaque to Jeff Soloway. Jeff, congratulations. Thank you very much. And here you go. There's the check. I left, I left the check up here when I got the award, so I'll okay, take it with you. All right, I will take it. Uh, thank you very much. I'd like to first thank the excellent Claire Tui, who is the editor of the collection the story appeared in. Yes, Claire? Note that this collection exists exclusively in an e-book format. As far as I know, I'm the first fiction writer honored by the MWA whose work has never appeared in print. This is not exactly the distinction I've always dreamed of achieving, but I'll take it. Um, next month, my first novel will be published, also exclusively in an ebook edition, and also well edited. Not just copy edited, but line edited, proofread, uh, even fact checked by the people at Random House. So I'd like to thank the folks at the MWA for acknowledging that not only is digital publishing, not only is it able to do, not only can one do digital publishing well, excuse me, but it's actually happening. People are doing it right now. Um, there are talented writers working with dedicated editors and production staff in the digital world to produce quality fiction. Whether we in this digital publishing business can produce truly great crime fiction, that's another question. But I think we can. <laughs> 